Hello everyone, welcome to A plus PI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving a nice equation with complex numbers. So we have z to the power i equals 2i. I'd like to say an exponent that doubles, but this is actually a base that doubles because z is at the base. Okay? And I'm at the guitar. I mean, just kidding. I don't play guitar. Anyways, let's get back to the topic. So we have z to the i equals 2i. How do we solve for z? Easy. Just log both sides and divide by that, right? Well, it's not that straightforward. Maybe it is. But what is the log of 2i or ln of 2i? Natural log, right? So let's go ahead and use the exponential notation or the polar form. We can go ahead and write z as z because there's nothing else we can do right but here's the thing we can do i don't really care about the i in the exponent but i care more about the base because i need to turn it into polar form for the i in the exponent i can go ahead i mean this one i can go ahead and just write z to the i as e to the power i ln z remember that whenever you have z to the w you can write it as e to w ln z so it's the complex exponentiation basically okay and the right hand side is 2i but I can also write it in polar form 2 is the modulus i tells me that angle should be pi over 2 right but I should be allowed to add multiples of 2 pi right so let's go ahead and add 2 pi n and then multiply by the whole thing now when you have n on the right hand side n is an integer obviously this means there's going to be infinitely many solutions and we're not just considering the principal value. If you want the principal value, n equals zero will get you there. You're all good. Okay, so let's go ahead and see how we can solve this problem by using natural logs, right? If you ln both sides, you're going to get i ln z because ln e is one. Super annoying. So this, you're going to get i ln z. And on the right hand side, you're going to get ln two plus i times pi over 2 plus 2 pi n okay good we're about to get ln z from here let's multiply by negative i or divide by i whichever you prefer i like multiplication negative i is going to give us this and negative i is going to give us negative i squared which is positive one so we're going to get pi over 2 plus 2 pi n by the way i have a feeling i've done this problem before hopefully i haven't if i did i apologize Hopefully you're going to learn something new this time. Pi over 2 plus 2 pi n and then ln 2 is going to be multiplied by negative i. So it's going to be negative i times ln 2. Great. We're almost there, but not quite because this is ln z. We do need z, right? And z is what? e to the power ln z, which is equal to e to the power pi over 2 plus 2 pi n minus i times ln 2. Great. Is that the final answer? Is that the simplest form? Probably. I mean, I, I shouldn't say it's the simplest, but at least it's in polar form. We used Euler's number, so on and so forth. But if you were, if you needed to write it for some reason, for whatever reason, right? If you needed to write this in A plus B I form, which is called the standard form, then you could do the following. Separate these two things. First of all, you can write e to the power pi over 2 plus 2 pi n oh come on pi over 2 plus 2 pi n and then times e to the power negative i ln 2 so one thing you need to remember e to the i theta is cosine theta plus i sine theta in this case theta happens to be negative ln 2 and theta is negative because of the minus sign Make sense? It's just a reciprocal, but uh, it just negates the answer and you get the reflection, so on and so forth. Anyways, this is my modulus r. So we're going to get e to the power pi over 2 plus 2 pi n multiply by e to the power negative i ln 2, which can be written as cosine of theta, which is in this case negative ln 2 plus i times sine of negative ln 2. And then when you distribute, I know some people are going to be like, okay, you still haven't written it in the A plus B. Oh, come on. You want me to distribute? I can. Fine. If uh, notability allows me to do it. It's just stop acting crazy. Uh, times cosine negative ln 2 plus I times 
e to the power pi over 2 plus 2 pi n, just repeating the same factor, times sine of negative ln 2. Now, this should be in the a plus bi form. This is my a, this is my b. You got it? Okay, hopefully you did. So that's basically what we can do. But I'd like to check my work always with, what is it called? Wolfram Alpha, I think, yeah? Because Desmos can't solve these problems, can it? Uh, it can graph some stuff, but how do you graph complex equations? Right? You can't graph complex functions, okay? Because it's four-dimensional. Make sense? Think about it. A complex number being mapped to another complex number. So there are four components. Anyways, that's a different story. I don't know why I said it. But Wolfram Alpha says the following. Uh-oh. What is 2 to the power negative i? That's a good question, right? So somewhat ambiguous. But using complex exponentiation, you can definitely write it as e to the power negative i ln 2. Uh-oh. That just brings us to the thing we had, right? Exactly. So there's another way to write it. And this is how we can write it. And that's how Wolfram Alpha wrote it. I don't know why. But this was also in our expression, right? But again, that's the modulus, even though that kind of looks. So this is a really nice example that this looks like R, but that's actually the one that gives you the theta. Theta is in there. And this is the R, the real part. They're kind of switch roles, right? Anyways, I guess that's the end of the video, right? This brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.